koko heimo tänne taas jälleen kerran ollaan yhdessä ja tosi hienoa nähdä teitä kaikkia täällä. Yes! Tosiaan, me eletään semmoisia aikoja nyt, semmoisia historiallisia aikoja, vaikeita aikoja. Meitä pohjataan, meitä syrjitään, meidän perustuslain lain yli kävellään. Ja tuolla nuo isot herrat luulee, että me vaan oltais hiljaa ja hyväksyttäis kaikki tää. Mutta onko se niin? In March 2020, Australia closed its borders, schools, and all non-essential, introducing a strict lockdown. Australian politicians have all been seized by the media, and some of them have been arrested for protesting, but their test results have been negative. So why? Why are they here? Heitä jahdattiin noin rikollisia, kun me seidät saatiin kiinni ja vietiin takaisin leiriin. Ja saivat kiinni ja joulun lopuksi. Kaikki on meidän terveydenhuoltoja, jotka olivat saaneet negatiivisen koronan tehtyä. Vahvistuina tekemättä rikosta. Tämä on vapauden riisto. Pahimman luokan ihmisoikeusrikkomus. Recently Australian member of parliament, George Christensen, joined the SO Expo calling out the state premiers for setting up their own tyrannical biosecurity police state, complete with medical apartheid. He compared them to Stalin, Mao, Hitler and Volker. He warned the Australian government that the totalitarian task they are on has never ended well and called Australian citizens to stand up, stop complying and start civil disobedience. Australia. I'm a daughter of the big 
In today's Western democracies, in the so-called free world, you may have to abandon your bodily integrity, the inviolability of your physical body, and to risk your health and your life in order to be allowed to work. This is unacceptable, and it must end now! In Finland, our so-called left-wing government, led by the World Economic Forum's young global leader, Sanna Marin, representing the Social Democratic Party, the so-called Workers' Party, is trying to do exactly the same. They are trying to get everybody without the job, without the European Union COVID certificate, kicked out from their work. Families being left without the possibility to bring food on the table for their children. And imagine these people claim to represent the working men and women. But the truth is, the Finnish people have never seen such an anti-working man government in the history of our nation. name he calls by the name of Yonu
Juu, nu tule tänne nyt vaan, rohkeasti. Kiitos. Luen englanniksi viesti ystävillemme Australiaan. Dear friends, today we are gathered here in front of the Finnish parliament. Australia is very far away from Finland, it is true. But what is happening there regards us Finns too. We live in a global village and what happens on the other side of the world can also happen here. What is happening in Australia? The almost complete lockdown, the spoiling of any constitutional right of the citizen, the imposition of measures and rules which do not find any justification, but only in the sick mind of those who are governing the global village. All of this is happening also here in Finland. We have no scientific evidence that this new COVID variant is more dangerous than the previous ones. But we have evidence that the pharmaceutical industry will again enormously benefit from the new vaccine they are planning to give us. It is an enormous scam which affects all the nations and people of the earth, from Finland to Australia. Just one example. As the media have reported, the EU is planning mandatory vaccination. And who is in the top of the EU? Ursula von der Leyen. And what is her husband Heiko doing? Heiko von der Leyen is financially heavily involved with the pharmaceutical industry which produces vaccines. How much money has been given by the industries worldwide to politicians, to journalists, even the virologists? to claim how terribly dangerous coronavirus is. They say we must now take a third booster, and then it will be the fourth. And they are already saying that we must vaccinate every year. How many billions is this COVID business worth? Instead of developing in this crazy way of vaccines, since vaccines which we produce today and tomorrow are already useless, Instead of doing this, we should develop drugs to cure the pandemic. Some has been done, but not enough. Why? Because vaccines are more quick to be produced and therefore more easy to be sold and request less research investments. But, dear friends, this is not only a medical problem. We are facing an emergency which is not made of viruses, but of politicians which are far worse than the COVID. A vi virus which is more difficult to be eradicated. A virus which poisons the body of the Finnish nation. Politicians are only looking at their gains in terms of money and of power. The pandemic crisis has revealed that there exists a level in our society which we, the common citizens, cannot control, but which controls us. Politicians of any party, from left to the right, use COVID to reaffirm their power on Finnish people. They impose on us restrictions, masks, passes of all colors. They tell us where to go and where not to go. Their hunger for power has no limits. Now they want to rule Finland as if it were a dictatorship where they, the politicians, are the policemen and the guardians. What can we do? Do we have to obey like sheep? No. We must react and fight back. We need to say loud and clear that we, the common people, want to be masters of our own destiny without delegating it to nobody. We need to say loud and clear, oh, sorry. We need a new class of politicians, men and women who have the courage to stand for what they believe in and to stand for the good of the Finnish people. I shall run in 2024 for the presidency of Finland. 
Not because I'm ambitious, not because I want power, but because I want that all Finns can live a better life in a better society. When the game is hard, the players become harder. To save the situation, which is extremely bad, we need extreme means. I have a dream. We need to gather the best of this country. We need to gather you, the men and women here in this place and other parts of Finland. But we also need more radical means. No violence, of course. Don't worry. First, we need to defend our borders of the beloved Finland. There is another virus coming to threaten us, and it comes from the east. We must reinforce our borders. We need to build a force which will stand any possible threat. We have that capacity. Finnish army has tanks, guns, ships, and many which are kept in secret places. We shall bring them back to light and use them if necessary, inside and outside of the nation. But most important of all, we have the brave Finns who have shown many times to the world what they can do, with guns and without guns, in war and in peace. I promise you, I shall run for president. No more of those boring TV debates where only one, where one can only hear the usual promises. I promise you an iron fist. I promise to drag those politicians out of Arcadia Hill and bring in the parliament the real pe power of the citizens. The power which comes from the love we have for this country. And those who have betrayed this country, those who have sold it to the international finance regardless of our real interests and well-being, they will pay for it in one way or another. Dear friends, we have barricades to build. Instead of blue flag with golden star, we shall rise on the parliament with the power of our fist, the blue and white flag, the flag of glorious and courageous Finland. Thank you. Hyvä Junnu, thank you Junnu. Yeah, these guys, these guys are really the prime of, of our country. They do a lot. Leveli program, Leveli podcast has done a lot for this country. They have awakened a lot of people. And especially they, they address the, the youth of our country. A lot of youth has, has woken up thanks to Leveli and Junnu and Slim Mill and Tapsa. And thanks to them. A lot of youth will not take the vaccination. So they are true heroes of our country too. Let's give them a lovely, a nice round of applause. Kiitos.